I had to take these off just because I was getting like crazy hair and I was pulling my head. I don't know, it's just giving me a headache. But anyways, as you guys can see from the title, Coachella makeup, guys. I am not going to Coachella, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of create some makeup look for you guys. I literally don't really do things like this. However, I feel like Halloween and festivals is when I actually start doing colors and kind of showing off some creative side of me that I kind of do but don't, not really. <laughs> I know, I'm just literally basic, just doing neutral shades, lashes, not even eyeliner lately. I don't know, something just got into me this morning and I was like, I need to film a Coachella makeup look. I busted out, I don't know if you guys wanna see all this, but it's a lot of stuff here. I busted out all my highlighters, all my glittery colors. As you can see, I went really bold and crazy. I mixed a lot of colors, brought it up to my temple. I did some crazy like eyeliner here with a lot of sparkles and sheen and I really defined my crease and got kind of creative with some like double winged action going on here. I also use my flash palette from Makeup Forever to kind of create little strokes and little lines on my face to kind of give it that galactic kind of festival but still beautiful look. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna show you two makeup looks. It's really easy. I had a lot of fun filming this video because I went overboard, but not really. I'm sure one day if I end up going there, this is probably nothing to them. So this is still on the safe side, but it's still wearable. So anyways, if you guys are interested on how I created these looks, then please keep on watching. Let's start off with some sunscreen because we are going to be out in the sun. You don't want to roast. You don't want your skin to be bacon. So you definitely want to, I said bacon. <laughs> so you definitely want to protect your skin with some sunscreen. I figured we can create some looks together. I want to be more creative and I want to start using colors to create some looks. And as you see, I'm still using neutral colors. <laughs> but I'm definitely trying to step out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to be more creative with colors. Maybe this Halloween, I'm going to start creating some more interesting looks because I'm just basic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just face it. But yeah, I definitely want to challenge myself this year in starting to use colors. As always, I will list the lashes and the brow in the info box below. Because if I had done all that stuff on camera, we would have been sitting here for like three hours like I did. So that's why I sped up this process. Now for this festival makeup look, the first look, I really wanted something glowy. I mean, you'll see at the end, I'm literally overloaded with highlight, but this is what Coachella is. We're just going to pack this up because there's no right or wrong way. Now, I really wanted my makeup, which meaning the complexion part, really, really light. So I'm just using this really light formulation. This is the Armani Color Corrector. Again, I didn't want to feel like I have a lot of makeup on my face. I definitely wanted more sunscreen protection and a lot of glitter. Now, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's a really watery form uh, foundation, which is super, super light. And it's perfect because it also has SPF 15. Oh, yeah. I'm only thinking about... That bunny headband, I don't know, it's giving me a headache. So I had to like push it off to the back of my ear. So I'm gonna use glowy powder and I'm gonna use this Tarte Amazonian Clay because it claims to be a waterproof formulation. I decided to use some loose pigment just on the eyes to give this glam a slight pop. 
So I'm using my Inglot Loose Pigment, which is really, really pretty. And I don't know, I'm wearing blush today. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little color to my cheeks. And of course, use a pop of color, which is this waterproof cold pencil by Givenchy. This is perfect for the spring, summer, and again, a pop of color. This is my ultimate favorite highlighter, guys. It's Icicle by Becca, and I bought this a few holiday collections ago. I'm not sure if they sell this individually, which I highly doubt, but it's perfect for this theme. Put too much highlight and it touched my brows, so I was like, let me get some of that bronzer and fill in that little tail part. Using a lip stain, this is by YSL, my current lip stain at the moment. And I'm gonna take this Tarte Shimmery Lip Gloss. I think the color is Fiji. And it just gives a beautiful color. No, I lied. I think the color is like Sandbar. Oops, I lied too. I'm gonna work on the dots first and then do the lip gloss. So um, I thought it'd be kind of cute just to have like these dots because it's very trendy. So the ColourPop wasn't working too well, so I busted out my flash palette. I use this flash palette a lot for my Halloween looks just because the colors are so pigmented and it just is great to mix with. So I'm just taking the end of my Mr. Smith brush because it's like a perfect shape and I'm just making dots right across my eyebrows. I wanted to be creative and make a heart because I didn't want to make any more lines or dots on my center part of my face, but can you guys tell that heart is a little lopsided? But anyways, no one's gonna see that, or maybe, but whatever. I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlight and just to set it, and that's my first look. Don't you guys love my tank? That is so cute, huh? Yep, we all have one of those friends, and that is me. <laughs> Let's move on to look number two. Hey, please don't mind my hair. Clearly, I filmed a hair and makeup look, which is going to be in a separate video. So I'm just taking that same Lorac palette. If I don't use the same products in one video, my description box will be so lengthy and it won't allow me to have all the information. But I thought it'd just be easier to use the same palette because I'm sure everyone just has basic neutrals, just like my collection. So it'd be easy for you guys to recreate. I'm just gonna do a matte look with a smoky brown on the outer corners. And I don't know what I did, but I decided to go for like a galactic theme, hence my liner. It's actually named Galactic, which is really funny. After I filmed this, I was like, What's the name of that liner? It's an actually old liner by Urban Decay, but it's a nice shimmery pink. It's a waterproof formulation, which I used when I went to Cancun a few years back, and it works perfectly because I can wear that with some waterproof mascara and jump in that pool. Anyways, so I'm creating a winged liner right now, and I want to use this purple over that nude color liner, but it wasn't doing its justice, so I was like, you know what, we're just going to use that pen right on top and just create that liner. So this part is really tedious, but I had to keep my eyes really still because I have to raise my eyes because I don't have a crease to actually define it. If I just had my eyes relaxed, there would be a harder portion for me to kind of outline. So this is the best way. And after I created that crease, I decided to wing out that liner and connect it to the bottom liner. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. I just kind of followed the liners and paired it to the top one. Then afterwards, I took my flash palette once again and I used that white color. And I'm gonna outline in between and around it to make it more pronounced for the outer corner wing. Now 
now with my hair like this and this winged liner, I felt really like 70s and really outer space like. <laughs> but I guess that's what we were going for. Galactic theme here. So I'm just going to continue on sharpening the edges, cleaning it out. And I'm using these Q-tip cleaning applicators that has like a pointier tip and it actually works really nice to clean them off. Then I'm going to go over again with my liner and just fill it in until I'm satisfied with the look. I'm applying on some sunscreen with no color this time, but this helps smooth out the skin. It has SPF 30. This is an actually an old discontinued item, but I'm sure you can use a new one, which I'll put in the info box for you guys. Cover FX came out with a water cloud one, which smooths out the skin with also blue lighting protection, which is sunscreen. Using that same concealer, I'm going to use this new blender applicator, which is really weird, but it actually works really well with my stellar foundation because it's a really illuminating type of foundation which is perfect for this look same bronzer that is waterproof and I'm gonna mix some highlights to achieve this glowy look yep I'm watching TV too so that's why I had that weird deer on headlights kind of look at first and I'm just gonna pack it on onto my eyebrow bones my inner eyes So I'm trying to be creative creating these little white lines. I did one on my chin and it was kind of crooked and I was like, why didn't I just use the edge of the flash palette for the lines on top of my forehead? Anyways, this is my first time doing this so I thought it was kind of fun. I'm experimenting. I will know next time. <laughs> so I'm going to line my eyes and pair this with a Fiji lip gloss by Tarte. And I love this lip gloss because it has like a green blue undertone which is so sparkly and pretty. And this is my final look for number two. I felt like it was appropriate to wear my neon pink bra with this shirt because it looks so cute. All right, here's number two. All right, guys, that is it for my makeup looks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I literally stepped out of my comfort zone. I feel like I'm starting to step out of my comfort zone during Halloween and now like festivals where you can kind of show off your creativities as I normally just do basic looks. <laughs> so I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great time at Coachella or even your upcoming festivals. Have a great time, enjoy the music, and also be safe. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye!